boop. Morning guys, it's whatever day it is. What's today? Thursday and welcome, lost track of all time then, welcome to another review from me, Matt, the Bitter Berserker. That hurt, that really hurt. I got a stiff neck, I lay funny in bed last night, woke up this morning, hobbling around like some demented fool. But thank you guys for joining me. At least the wind's gone, I'm ready for the next storm at the weekend. But I have another review for you. Thank you so much for all the support I'm getting over there on Instagram as Viking Beard Matt and here on my Beard of Bethesda YouTube channel where I'm trying and working my socks off to try and help small brands, individuals and craftsmen out there that are making some really amazing products. We really need to get behind them, help them, support them, encourage them as much as we possibly can and not so much these huge massive faceless brands that are just pumping out factory made stuff and I'm finding with a lot of the reviews that I do on this channel around about 95% that the products that they're creating because they're putting their own time into it, their own money, the, the passion that they have for it, they're creating some amazing products, whatever it might be, beard products, skin products, hair products, clothing, jewellery, woodworking, metalworking, all sorts of bits and pieces. And so we really need to support them because if not, a lot of the time these guys have given up sort of their full-time job in order to follow their passion in life, which in my opinion takes a lot of cojones to do. And so more often than not, it's sort of like make or break for these guys. If they don't succeed, then obviously everything is at risk. Now, with all the reviews that I do on my channel, stuff that gets sent through to me, stuff that I go out and buy myself, all of my reviews are completely honest. Everything I do is my own opinion and I'm completely unbiased as well because, like I said before, I would hate for you guys to watch one of my reviews go out there, buy a product under my recommendation, then you get it home and you go, well, that's not right, it didn't look like that, it fell apart or whatever. So all of my reviews are honest. If there's something I don't like, then constructively I'll say why I don't like it. And if there's a reason I do like a product, then I'll say obviously constructively why I like the product. And this is the second review I have done for these guys called Rock and Roll Football Shirts. Formed in 2019 uh, from Accrington in Lancashire, and they make football inspired or music inspired football shirts. Yeah, music inspired football shirts, which is pretty cool because. I'm not a huge sports fan. Um, I'm not particularly good at it. I had a busted leg when I was a kid, didn't get picked for stuff. So football and stuff for me, never really been into it. Um, so when people turn around and say, oh, such and such is playing tonight, or what team do you support? It's like, I don't. But the thing that I like about this music inspired football shirts is I do like music. I like a lot of the old rock and metal and stuff like that from when I was a kid, Black Sabbath, Facey, DC, Iron Maiden, Metallica, more recently Slipknot, <coughs> all the old stuff, in my opinion, is better, in my opinion, is better than new stuff, and I love this whole music inspired football shirts, because, so I've been told, and so I've learned, that football clubs change their, sort of like, designs or sponsors and everything every year and have home kits away kits and stuff like that so it's nice to have a t-shirt if you're into football or you're into music that you can wear going out you can wear fitness wise running going to festivals and everything else or just for the hell of it um that kind of like shows you love of football and shows you love of music as well now the last one that i've done a review of was the ACDC um, Back in Black football t-shirt. Hopefully the camera's picking that up all right. I've worn this quite a lot since it came through. I've had no issues or problems with it whatsoever. And they're very kindly, very, very kindly sent through another t-shirt that they're gonna be bringing out later on this year for me to have a look at, see what I think of, and give you guys my honest opinion. So in the package was rock and roll football shirts. I love the music, love the game, stand out from the crowd. Uh, Facebook, at rock and roll football shirts. Um, what's that? 
Instagram at Rock and Roll Football Shirts, Twitter, Rock and Roll Football One, and email and everything else. Links will be down below in the description box. So please give me some help, support, and a follow. All sorts of ones. I don't know what the colours are um, of the football shirts, so excuse my lack of knowledge in colours of football shirts and what team has what colours. I have no idea. And this one is sent through, um, the new one, the Led Zeppelin one. One of my favourite all-time songs has to be Immigrant Song from Led Zeppelin as well as Cashmere and a couple of others. Stay away to heaven, not so much. Rock and roll football shirts, care instructions inside. Do not dry clean. Wash inside out on a cool setting. I've never tried to wash myself inside out on a cool setting, but apparently that's what you do with the t-shirt. Use mild detergent. Do not use fabric softener. Hang dry or tumble dry on a low heat. Place a cloth over the garment before ironing. Do not iron directly onto the garment. So there you go. <coughs> Also with rock and roll football shirts, the customer service has been absolutely amazing. And re they're really keen on what I've got to say about it and what I think of it, would I change it and the quality. So this is the one that was sent through. We've got cashmere on the front, this is yellow. It's got their logo and the nice uh, sort of cloth badge emblem on there too which is nice touch double stripe down the shoulder and on the back of said t-shirt plant 75 i was actually born in 74 so i'll let you work out how old i actually am i feel a damn sight older than i look uh, size medium fits fine this one was a size small and to be honest both size small yeah it was a small both size small and medium fit extremely well. Not too long or too tight with the small and the same with the medium, fits really well. Slightly looser fit on me. I do like the color of it. Um, I, it's, I have washed this to show a bit of wear and tear a couple of times since it's come through. And as you can see, there's been no problems at all with running the image coming off or uh, decals, whatever you want to call, coming off of it, which is nice because there's nothing worse than going out, buying a nice t-shirt or something that's got a design on it, you put it in the washing machine when it comes out, half of it's disappeared off or peeling off, which this one hasn't. The silver on this is kind of like one of those reflective ones, so it'd be quite good if you're going out running, but that's only on the front, so they could see you before they run you over, but really, really nice design. Um, I don't know whether, I think in my opinion, I feel with the black stripes that run down the top, whether they could be carried on down the side or just down the arms, just to break up the yellowness of it. I don't have a problem with yellow. I do wear my t-shirts untucked. I don't wear them tucked in, even though I'm old. So yeah, I don't dress that way, uh, but really, really nice. Love the graphics on it. You've got the Zeppelin hot air balloon on there, obviously Led Zeppelin. And it's one of, they're one of those bands that I've always wanted to watch live. Um, I watch documentaries and everything about them. Seen a lot of other bands live. Sabbath, also seen Slipknot live a couple of times. Um, loads of other bands as well. Uh, but yeah, this is one band that I wish I'd always sort of seen. So it's really, really nice. Nice design. Same sort of thing as this one. I believe it's slightly different material. If I hold them up close, you can see that one's kind of like got that look, whereas this one's a bit shinier, but I think this is just kind of like the prototype, prototype one that was sent through. Even with the um, ACDC back in black one, same sort of uh, cloth badge on there. Rock and roll football shirts, Angus Young, 80. So yeah, it's nice. Yeah, they've done that with this one. If you can see, you've got the kind of light lightning bolts that run down the side on that one. Possibly on the new one. I don't know whether this is, like I say, I think it is a prototype where the black stripes on the shoulder could run down the side or something just to break up the yellow a bit. But it's really, really nice. It's breathable. I've washed it several times and had no issues with it whatsoever. 
and I'm looking forward to some warmer weather when I can actually go out and wear them. Um, I did wear the back in black one ACDC out uh, probably about a week ago and I, I had two people turn around and go, that's smart, where did you get that from? So it was like I told them and review online. Uh, I don't know whether they've ordered from them, but that's one thing I do like with small brands is that I kind of like have my own fashion and how I want to dress. People always start saying, well, why do you wear the same jumper or jumpers and everything when you're doing a review? The reason why I'm, I do that is I don't want to be reviewing another product and seem to be advertising another product while I, while I do it. So I tend to review pieces as they come through. So that's why I tend to look fairly plain. And even with the pictures over on Instagram, it's I always try and take myself out of the pictures and bring the products forwards, as opposed to like having a picture of me holding something, even though it pretty much is, but I try and take myself out of it and bring the product forward because that's what's more important, the product and not myself. But yeah, like I was saying with small brands, I do like the way I've never had it with big branded stuff with trainers, Nikes and stuff like that. And people going, oh, well, that's cool. Where did you get that from? Yet with a lot of the clothing from these smaller brands, I've had so many people turn around and say, I really like that. Where did you get that from? That's cool. I've never seen that before. I love the design on that, which is so nice to see because I suppose that's what you don't get with the big brands. Everyone kind of knows what it is, where it's from and... I do. I wouldn't say I like to stand out. I'm not like avant-garde or anything like that. Um, but I do have my own style and like to dress the way that I want to dress and sort of what anybody else thinks because I'm too old to care what anyone else thinks. So prices on the t-shirts, they do vary. Um, the ACDC one is coming in at $29.99. And the cashmere one, the Led Zeppelin one, yellow, is going to be £35.99. This is going to be releasing later on in the year. And yeah, it might sound a bit expensive, 29 30 quid and 35 36 quid. Um, but bearing in mind, like I was saying, with football shirts, they change every season and you always get the kids screaming to the parents that they want the latest one and don't want to be seen wearing the old one. With these, you ain't got to worry. You go out and you buy it once. Really good quality. I've had no issues with either of the t-shirts so far. Um, even with washing and following the care instructions, still no issues. Customer service with rock, oh, sorry, I've got an itchy ankle. Uh, rock and roll football shirts, amazing customer service. I cannot wait to see other designs that they bring out. They've got Bob Marley one, there's also the David Bowie one, Oasis one. Loads of different bands, depending on what you're into. So it's not all rock related, even though it's called rock and roll football shirts. So bit of everything in there. Um, there's even a Metallica one as well, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's kind of got the black album cover design on it with the snake. And it'd be nice to see what an Iron Maiden one would look like, because that'd be quite cool. But there you go. Food for thought. So thank you so, so much for Rock and Roll Football Shirts for sending this one out for me to have a look at. Bless you, you uh, stars. I really hope this goes well for them because I love what they're producing. Even though I don't like football, it's nice to kind of like have some sports where the, or some clothing that does look like, a look like football but has that music behind it, which I really do love music. And I think most of us do like music out there. So there you go. Linked will be down below in the description box. I cannot rate uh, these guys enough. Give them some support, a help and a follow, especially with summer coming up. If you want to look good and people go, oh, that's smart. Where'd you get that from? Get on it. So thank you, guys. I hope you have enjoyed this little review. I've got a couple come out. Oh, my shoulder looks dropped. I'm like Quasimodo sat here. Thank you so, so much for all the support that I'm getting. I am trying my hardest as well as... I have recently actually... Some of you probably know this, but I have lost my job. Um, which is one of those things in life compared to some of the stuff in life people have to deal with is nothing. I have lost my job recently. Um, I'm trying to do all I can. My wife, she's working full-time, bless her, at the moment. Um hopefully should be starting work 
somewhere else fairly, fairly soon. But I'm trying my best. I'm trying my hardest and juggling everything. If anybody has any comments, please comment down below because I do read and will respond to each and every single comment out there. I hope you're enjoying the content that I'm putting out there. I'm working as hard as I possibly can for a little chap with an iPad in front of him. And remember to try wherever you can to buy from small brands and craftsmen out there. Give them some help. Give them some support. Make their day. Thank you guys, you're all fantastic, and I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Have a great one, and I look forward to seeing you in the next review from me, Matt, the Bearded Berserker. Have a great one, guys. Thank you.